All right, and we're back discussing this issue of Women's Health Magazine. Let's see, I wanna focus on this one right here. It says, eat a giant lunch, drop five pounds in a month. Whoa, boy. So, this is just so misleading from, this, from the get-go, right? It's kind of clickbait. Uh, but let's look at it actually. Uh, when you look a little closer here, what is the article actually saying? Well, it has a page here about lunch boxes. And um, so it's basically doing uh, a recommendation of a plate method, uh, which is something we actually like and support. It's just kind of a, a ballpark way of portioning your food. So what do we got here? We got some like quinoa and corn or something. Some mango, oh, I love mango. A little salad with some cheese and chips, and then some meat there. So we got carbs, we got carbs, we got a little bit more carbs and fat, and then we have our protein right there, okay? Uh, I'm gonna show you in a minute what uh, we recommend, but that's pretty carb heavy plate method, okay? Second thing here, what do we got? We got Mideast Bento, Okay, we got some uh, big bowl of lentils and beans there. We got some potato thing. We got some carrot thing with hummus. And we got some pita bread thing there. So that's carbs, 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 and more carbs basically. Oh, a little bit of protein in the yogurt maybe. Okay, so again, not really uh, balanced and proportional. Okay, and the last one I'll show here we got a picnic bento. Okay, we got some uh, vegetables with some beans there. We got some fruit and chocolate there. Ooh, fruit and chocolate. And then we got uh, an egg, a hard boiled egg there. Hey, there's some protein. And then we got some potatoes and some ham there. Okay, some cubed ham. So again, we got some good vegetables there, but carbs also. Carbs, carbs, carbs. A little bit of protein. More carbs with a little bit of protein and some peas sprinkled in there, okay? So this is trying to help you portion your food, but it's just got its priorities all jacked up, okay? So I'm gonna show you now, this is uh, from Precision Nutrition, and it's basically the plate method we try to uh, recommend to people, okay? So what do we got here? We got, oh my God, look at all that space for vegetables, okay? It says, including a wide variety of vegetables, preferably uh, leafy greens or just green vegetables more generally. Broccoli's fine too. Look at that. We got a decent quarter of the plate there for protein, okay, including red meat, chicken, fish, egg, vegetarian source. And then we got uh, some space there for fat. So you don't see any carbs, carbs, carbs business. It really is just about getting the protein in and the vegetables, meat and vegetables. It works, okay? That's an anytime meal, so that means like for breakfast or lunch throughout the day. Uh, but if we're doing a, a post-workout meal, look at this. So what do we have here? We have protein taking up half of the plate, okay? Protein's taking up half of the plate, and then we got veggie and fruit taking up the other half, and we got a wee little guy of starches there, okay? Uh, so this is much more in line. Oh, look at that water or tea no sweet beverages or alcohol that kind of stuff this is much more in line with what we recommend at the gym it fits people's uh macro profiles a lot better the proportion of protein carbs and fat they actually should be eating to lose weight to high, maintain high performance in the gym to increase your strength your endurance your muscle mass okay so it's not about uh, starving yourself, it's about fueling yourself in the right proportions. And it's understanding that most of the stuff out there is still pretty high carb bias. And you have to be very deliberate to try to get enough protein in your diet. And we're gonna hear it over and over again, protein, protein, protein. Uh, but the plate method we generally support and would be something that would be a great start for many of you uh, improving your nutrition. Thanks for watching.